Live. Steve will be back with us on Monday, but Kent Herbeck is filling in today, and it does just feel like lighter Filling. and happier outside, right? The spring? Yes, very it's nice. So outside. good. Yeah. Were you happy with the weather for opening day? It was yesterday? awesome. Yes, yeah. it was very nice. And, and the people were happy. Yes. The fans were happy. That, that makes was, a big difference. Yeah. So it means the thought of doing a cleanse might be on your mind a little bit too. You kind of think spring, renewal, there freshen up there a little go. bit. I see yeah. Your, your segment That's there. what I do. Yeah. <laughs> Cleansing has been known to detox bodies for decades, for centuries, but not all cleanses have to affect everything about your daily life. So here to explain, we want to welcome back the owner of Healing Insight in St. Paul. We love our Senya May on Twin <laughs> Cities Live. Hi, Senya. Hi. Nice to see you. Kent's been peppering Senya with questions in yes. the commercial break because she's like a wealth of knowledge. So let's talk about like this idea of a yep. cleanse. Some people think it means like, oh, I'm only going to eat cabbage soup for mm -hmm. a month and then just try to drop weight and then I'll gain it all back. Right, or like olive oil and water. You know, there's that cleanse too with it. Yep. Whoa. No, for this, you can actually eat a lot of different foods. Like, you know, if you do, if you do just like a short cleanse where you're just like really restricting your food, you tend to just be really hungry and tired. And mm -hmm. I mean, maybe at the end of three days, you feel a little bit better, but then you just go back to the way that you were eating before. Yeah, I know. That's like the problem with like a three-day juice cleanse. It's like right. then you're so hungry. Mm -hmm. So you recommend actually a longer period, mm -hmm. but maybe, um, a, but actually incorporating a lot of food. Absolutely. Yep. I really like doing a three-week cleanse because when you do 21 days, it's long enough to really change your habits and actually change what's in your house and what you're eating. And by the end of that, most people have completely reset their palates where we're before, at the beginning, they're like, oh, I really wish that I was having, you know, like, then I could have candy and I could have nachos again. After three weeks, you're like, I feel so good. I don't really want to eat those things again. Yeah, Senya's currently helping me with my sugar addiction, which I Ooh. came clean about. You know, the first step to getting over it is being honest with yourself and that's people right. around you. And I, I like had jelly to do beans. It. I yeah, can. jelly beans. I, like I know that's beans. the toughest part. Don't okay. Tell <laughs> so all those things. I mean, weight yeah. is important too, but there are lots of mm -hmm. other things that are weighing us down. Right. Seasonal allergies. Mm -hmm. Maybe our digestion isn't feeling great. Maybe mm -hmm. we're having a little bit of a brain fog, and all of those things can be helped by doing a cleanse. Mm -hmm. Okay. Absolutely. So what do you think we should do? How are we cleansing, sister? So we t tend to do a supplement-based cleanse where you do smoothies, and then you have some supplements that you take with it, and so those help to detox your organs, help to clean out your intestines, and a very gentle way and especially with supplements then it binds to anything your body is detoxing so you don't have as many like headaches and you know fatigue that sometimes people do in the, with a cleanse. You brought us a lovely beverage. I did. So this is our sweet kale smoothie. Now okay. if you've never had a smoothie Look before. <laughs> If you've never had a smoothie before, this is a great way to start because it has lots of fruit in it. So I okay. put sweet cherries in this. I have um, some really good blueberries. It doesn't in that. look appetizing though. You can huh? it, come on. It does look like mud. Do I have to drink it like a shot? Yeah, I'm just pretty good at that. Take it down like a champ, Ken. <laughs> take it down like a champ. It's yummy. It's oh got my. it's got a little grassy aftertaste, but the front end is very fruity. I can taste the. Uh, the celery. The celery. There's a little bit of celery in that. It's mm -hmm. like nice and bright. Yep, I know. It, it, it looks like. Mud? Uh-huh. It does. <laughs> it does. But it, it really tastes, does. It tastes really good. It but does. it tastes delicious, yeah. right? I know. Yeah, and you put a little bit of protein powder it's in really that refreshing. so you have energy through the day. Yeah, and that's great. Yeah, we'll put avocado or, avocado or coconut oil in that. So how often well. would you do this? A Usually couple that, times a day? We'll do that a couple times a day. But like a bigger times. glass, I'm assuming. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, so much larger. Yeah. Oh, okay. So it Probably keeps you that. full, keeps things kind of moving along, mm -hmm. and the fat is really helpful because the yes. fat and the protein is going to help keep you full. Right. That's what makes it so you're not starving 30 yeah. minutes later. You have to have the fat. You have to have the protein in it. What other things do you think we can incorporate in a cleanse in terms of food? So people are so worried that they're going to be starving when they're on a cleanse. I'm yeah. like, no, the key is to eat the right snacks during a cleanse. So you're doing lots of fruits and vegetables, but I really like to include sunflower seed butter with celery or apples. Because you actually take nuts out during this cleanse, yes. which is interesting. Because a lot of, every, I mean, every, and it's not necessarily like the foods you're having people eliminate are bad for you. Mm -hmm. It's just kind of figuring out what works best for your body. Right, and there's certain known foods that tend to congest people more than others. You know, fruits and vegetables aren't quite as so bad. So this is like a peanut butter. It's like peanut put, butter. But it's, mm -hmm. okay, and you put yep. it on your celery sticks or mm -hmm. whatever. Mm -hmm. Yep, okay. and then you can also have guacamole, also good with celery. When you have that fat, that's what prevents you from being hungry all day long. Mm -hmm. So I always have people have you know good fatty snacks a couple times a day. Instead of the chips and putting your dip in. Exactly, and exactly. not the corn. Chips. Not the okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Go, go yeah, we're the doing the celery. celery. Yeah. Still crunchy. Yes. Yes. I'm writing the stuff down. Okay, that's good. Yeah. Okay.
First, I have to get through the bottles of wine. <laughs> yeah, that's right. right. That's right. So yeah. let's bring Kristen out. Kristen is going to help us show where some different uh, acupuncture points are that can help mm -hmm. you actually during a cleanse. So how yes. does acupuncture support a cleanse? So we like to do acupuncture during a, during a three-week cleanse because when we do the treatments like once a week during that cleanse, then it helps to prevent you from having side effects. So some people have done cleanses where they're like, oh my gosh, I had terrible headaches or I was so, so tired. Well, we can help with acupuncture so you don't have hardly any symptoms at all while you're going through it. Okay, yeah, So great. we'll do like four sessions during the course of a, of a, of a cleanse. So where are we going to put some points in her? So we'll do a couple of easy points like on the top of the head since people will often come in complaining of brain fog or fatigue. That's why they're doing a cleanse. Um, sometimes they'll get headaches. So we can just do a couple of really easy points um, that help to keep your, your energy flowing, keep your blood flowing um, up to your brain. You know, pretty comfortable to have those done, but it helps to clear your head out. I was impressed. I, the other I don't day, get this. isn't this amazing? I've seen it on TV all the time, but she's just pounding them things in her head, That's and she's exactly not even she, moving. She's not even flinching. No big deal. Because it just doesn't. Yeah. She could do one for me too. She could oh, do it right yeah, here. Right I would here. have no problem with it whatsoever. Hello. There we go. Not even a worry, Kent. Mm -hmm. No. Come on. Do, he wants. Uh -huh. He does. Oh dear. Acupuncture wow. on Kent. All right, here, here we go. go. You can do it. Are you done? Yeah, I did it. Oh. <laughs> I know. So that's going to make me better. Yeah, that actually helps with headaches. That's one of the points we use for headaches. She has all these, about migraines. Yeah, right? these okay. amazing points, and it's oh. so incredible how everything is connected. And mm -hmm. the idea is to just get every, everything moving and feeling great. Sonia, this is really fun. Thank you, Kristen. You look lovely there with the needles. <laughs> uh, she didn't even move. No, that's what happens when you go in there. Oh. Big thanks to Healing Insight for sponsoring our show and for blowing Kent Herbeck's mind.